welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles, your one stop for all things high-end statue collecting reviews, unboxing statue chats, live content like Rogues Gallery Live, hit or miss videos, and so much more. My name's Chris and I'm the Batman statue collector and I am beyond thrilled today because we are going to be talking about a piece that I wanted to cover here on the channel, but it is a scale that I don't necessarily collect very often. And it is a one six scale diorama from our friends over at Iron Studios. And this is the Dark Knight Returns Battle Diorama. It's a very, very impressive piece. And I want to give a major shout out to collector Mark L who provided us this incredible footage. Congratulations, Mark, on this incredible piece from Iron Studios. And I know Mark is very, very happy and thrilled with it. And he wanted to share this footage with you guys. He wanted me to offer my thoughts and opinions on this piece, whether it is awesome or not. Again, he really likes his. And so I wanted to share my thoughts as well on this really, really cool piece. Again, six scale from Iron Studios. So without further ado, let's review them. All right, guys, so here we go, and let's take a look at the box first. Again, this is a 1-6 scale diorama, and I think the box art is really quite nice. Of course, this is The Dark Knight Returns, and this is a really stunning piece and a stunning box overall. Again, you see the DC logo, you see the Iron Studios logo, and then, of course, a uh, image on the back of the actual statue itself. So, uh, again, it's really cool to see the art box on this. Now, this is something I really love. I love how he compared these uh, we obviously have the tweeter head dark knight uh, returns and we also then have the iron studios in the middle uh, it definitely is more of a diorama with the two characters and then of course we also have the diamond select piece so uh, i've actually had two of the three in the bat cave and uh, you can check out those reviews uh, if you're interested but uh, it's just really cool to be able to see the size differences on some of these obviously this one in the middle from iron studios is going to be um you know much more substantial. But let's go ahead and take a look here. Um, the price point on this is $680. Um, that is quite a bit for a 1-6 scale, uh, especially when you compare it to other companies. But it is expensive, but is it worth it? Let's talk about it. Uh, you do get two characters here. You get the mutant. Uh, he is literally getting the snot kicked out of him. Uh, of course, Batman in this story. Now, you guys know if you follow the channel, this is not my favorite storyline. But um, Batman chooses this mud pit uh, for an advantage here. He's an older Batman, and this is how he's able to take down the mutant leader. And you can see the sludge, you can see the pipes, you can see his glasses flying off of his head. Um, it's got this green kind of ooze. You have the browns, um, you have the um, you know the tank in the back. There's just a lot going on here. And I do think the mutant looks really good. You see a lot of texturing there. You see um, you know a lot of movement in his body. But I mean, look at the detail there. That is really well done. Um, there's some speckling there. Uh, but it is well sculpted overall. Um, and I think the skin texture looks pretty good. You can see even some darker shading on the chest and the ab area. Um, definitely, uh, of course, some shadow created by Batman himself. But I really like the portrait on the mutant. I think he looks really great. Uh, obviously, you all have these uh, you know, really bright colored pants. Um, so that definitely stands out uh, for sure. But you can see the mud, how it's kind of flowing. It's kind of got a sheen to it. You got the oil drum there on the other side. Um, so again, there is a very good storytelling element here. And any good diorama, in my opinion, should have that storytelling element or what's the point? Um, you want to have some sort of action. You want to be involved with what's going on with the character. Uh, look at the detail here on the bottom of the boots, uh, the, the strings on the boots. Again, it is fully sculpted. Um, but for this scale, again, this is a smaller scale. Of course, it's not one-tenth, um, which is a whole nother ball game. But I do think that overall there's a lot of value here in terms of what you see. Um, lots of texturing, lots of great sculpt. Uh, the paint looks really great to me. There's some blood on this, which you don't always see in all the DC pieces now nowadays, but I do like the blood elements. I think it looks, you know, grim and nasty and dirty. There you see the, the oil dripping out of the can. So there are some really nice touches here, in my opinion. Um, of course, as we start to look at Batman himself, you're going to start to see uh, even more texturing. You're going to see that kind of that leather boot look. Um, and we'll get to that here in just a second. But there's what I'm talking about with that bloody element. It's not gory, gory, but it's definitely there. Um, and it does look really good. Um, here, let's take a look at one of the portraits. So this this is uh, the secondary portrait here. Obviously, you see a little bit of blood dripping down his face. Um, seeing it in his hand really lets you know kind of how big it is. Um, one six is not massive. It's not going to take up a tremendous amount of room. And usually, these are budgety type pieces. Where this one at 680 um, is a little bit pricier. Um, you can see the gore here much more on Batman 
And uh, you can see that he has been through literally hell and back here. Um, the knuckles are all bloody. He's got bloody on the thigh. Uh, it just looks really good. You can see the pulling of the fabric, even though it's sculpted. You see the pulling down by the crotch area. Um, it's a very tight, you know, this is, again, classic Frank Miller looking here. Um, and it looks really well sculpted. I'm really impressed overall with the texturing and the sculpt that I see. Um, the cape looks really good. It's a little bit blocky, I guess you could say, like that thickness. Um, so that is what it is. The gauntlet, gauntlet looks really good as well. You can see that texturing in that cape, um, and it does look good overall. I mean, it definitely looks kind of like a leather material. You even see some of the weathering on the bottom, and I think that looks really good. Obviously, him fighting in the mud is definitely going to be reflecting on the cape, um, so that's a nice touch as well. But again, I really like the leather texture. Um, it does look thinner in areas and thicker in other areas, but overall, I do think it looks really good. It looks like it's been battle damaged and worn for many, many years um, as Batman has come out of retirement in this storyline. Um, again, the texturing looks really great on the upper body. The yellow really pops on this piece. And again, lots of blood. So if you're if you're not into the blood part, this might not be the statue for you. Um, again, I did mention the price point, 680. It is shipping right now from Sideshow. Uh, I will put the link down below in the description if you're interested in ordering it. It does, of course, help the channel. So thank you guys very much. Um, but I have to admit, I mean, even though I feel like the price is high a little bit, um, I do think this statue is really, really cool. Um, dimensions really quick, guys. 15 inches tall, 13.3 inches wide, 13.7 inches deep. It's going to uh, clock in at 14.31 pounds. I'm sorry, 14, just 14.3 pounds. And um, again, look at the speckling there. Um, it's really a great piece, in my opinion. I love the way it turned out. It's not going to take up a tremendous amount of room in your collection. But it is going to make an impact, especially maybe compare this uh, or, um, you know, you might pair it with a CGC. Uh, you know, that would be really cool. Dark Knight Returns. Um, look at that face. That is a great secondary portrait here. Uh, this is probably the one that I would primarily use just because, I mean, this is so gritty and grim and dark. It's the kind of Batman I like. I like that noir style beautifully executed you can see his body language here he's kind of hunched over he is he is uh the winner here he's clearly the winner and he is you can just you can almost feel him breathing i mean just he's so pissed off and he's been through hell but i do think the face sculpt looks really good i like the other head sculpt as well um, i really do like the bloody elements again i know that's not for everybody but overall, I do think this statue is definitely worth it to have in your collection if you are a fan of this art, if this, uh, if you love this storyline. And again, it does look really great. And there's that swap out again, just so you guys can see the more serious portrait. I think I like the Rage one better, but this one also definitely has its place. I really think this statue is great. So again, I want to thank Mark. Thank you so very much for providing that footage, for filming for us, and congratulations again on your amazing statue. But I'm going to turn it over to you guys. What do you think about this piece? Uh, I think it turned out really, really awesome. Um, it's, again, not a scale that I love to collect very often, but it is a really cool piece. Of course, I am not a giant Frank Miller fan, so it probably won't end up in the Batcave. But again, I'm thankful to collectors just like you out there that want to share your footage with the channel to spread the love and cover things that we wouldn't necessarily cover here in the Batcave, but still on YouTube for you guys. So again, thanks, Mark. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. If you are new here, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. Hit that like button. It does help other collectors just like you find content just like this. And if you want to take it one step further, consider hitting the join button down below for early access to our videos and bat boxes and other perks. We also have our t-shirts down there that does help support the channel. So anytime you use those links, guys, it does help tremendously. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the bat cave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.